So what are we going to divide by? Four. four. We're dividing by four. What are you adding up here? The four, four, three, and two? Yeah, yeah because you have to, they're dependent on the unit, right? So it's 16, 8, 9, 8. Can you do 16 plus 8 plus 9 plus 8 for me, please? 41. 41. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you know what? I totally screwed that up for you. Um, I didn't mean the number of credits. I meant the number of units. I said credits. I meant units. Sorry. So average of credits. So it's credits over units. I don't know why I said number of credits. Um, my mistake. You, add, you divide that by the number of units that you have. So number of units, how much is the number of units? 13. Good. So we take our 41 divided by 13. My bad on that. What's 41 divided by 13? Use your calculator and give it to me in two decimal places, to the hundredths. 3.15 what? It, on your calculator it says 3.15, is that it? Is it stop there? No, Okay, so you'd say 3.153, and it goes on forever, right? Uh -huh. But if I want you to round it here, this number depends on what, uh, this number depends on what that number is, right? Mm -hmm. So on your calculator screen, if I say to the hundredths, which I am, then this is going to be 3.15. Is that a valid GPA? No. Would you be happy with 3.15? It's like a B average. So even though you didn't get a B in all your classes, you got a couple A's, you got a B and you got a C, you're getting just above a B average right there. That's kind of, that's not bad. Not, not too bad at all. Transfer real well with that. How many people understood the whole idea of the GPA? So you find your units, your grade value, multiply those things for credit, add all those up, and divide by the number of units here, the 13. That will give you your GPA. So last time we discussed the mean. And what the mean is, is a form of an average. It's actually the arithmetic average, which meant you add all your items together, all your values together, then you divide by the number of values you just added. We did this with, uh, I believe, the Lakers game scores, and we also do with the GPA, so you were able to find that out. Now, there's a couple other types of averages. These are not typically the things you think of when you hear the word average. Normally, when you hear average, you think of the arithmetic average, adding things up and dividing. However, there's two other ways to show a, a central tendency, that, that means what most data is around, and those are the median and the mode. We're going to talk about the median right now. Here's what the median is used for. Median's used a lot of times in, in real life. Have you ever heard of like the median salary, or the median household income, or the median home value? Have you heard of those before? Yeah. Once or twice. Yeah, well, why aren't they saying mean? Why are they saying the median? We're going to talk about that right now. The median, when you hear that word, median sounds like middle, kind of like the middle. The median is actually the middle value in a set of data. So median means the middle value. The middle value. Let's take a look at an example here. So I'm going to give you uh, some numbers just to get our heads around this. Hey, tell me something. Would it help to find the median here if I asked you to find the middle number? If I asked you to find the middle number of something, what do you think would have to happen before you actually do it? Because right now, I'll tell you what, the middle number here is 1. Do you see that? Yeah. However, are these numbers in order? No. You've got to put them in order. Yeah, do got to put them in order. Because if I'm asking you to find the middle of something, you're going to assume that those numbers are sequentially in order from smallest to largest. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. So when you're talking about the median, not only is it the middle number, but it's the middle number after you put your data in order. You have to put this in order. So I'm going to put you must put the data in order first, rough that. <coughs> If you're unfamiliar with that word data, that just means the, the numbers you're dealing with, uh, the values. So in our case, we're going to put this in order. What's the first number I need to write in? Yeah. One. 
We're going from smallest to largest. What's the first number on your right? right? And then? Two. And then? Three. Uh -huh. Five, seven, nine, ten. Do we have all the numbers listed? Yes. Okay, and they're in the, they're in the correct order, smallest to largest. Yeah. Now we can find the median. You see the middle number means the middle number after you already have them like, listed sequentially. So the middle number, uh, how many total numbers do we have up here? Seven. Seven. So the middle one is going to be the five. fourth. Five. Sure, it's five right there. We have three to the left. We have three to the right. They're in order. So this right here, that is your median. So in other words, we'll say the median... is five. Median just simply means the middle number. Is there any really math that you have to do here? No. Nope. Not so I much. Guess. Not really. I mean, with the average, with the arithmetic mean, the mean, you had to add all those things up and divide. Here, we just have to have our numbers in order. That's the big key point here. Then find the middle number. Okay, let's say we have these numbers. How many are there? Six. What's the first thing you have to do with these numbers, everybody? What are you going to do first? Good. What's the first one? one. Zero. 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 And then? One. And then? Five. Six. Eight. Cool. All right. Hey, quick question. If we have these things in order, which we know we're supposed to do, and we're supposed to find the middle number, here it was very easy, wasn't it? Very easy because there was a, a middle. Is there a middle number here? No. Oh, whoa. Wait a second. Zero. This is zero. No median. Oh, there's got to be something in the middle. Five. There's got to be something. You add two in the middle. Five and six. Five and six. You got to have one. You're on the right track, though. Let's, let's think about this critically, okay? If we have an odd number of numbers, like the seven numbers, or nine numbers, or eleven numbers, do you guys agree that there's going to be one number in the middle? Right. You with me on that? If you have an odd number of numbers, like, like seven. But if you have an even number of numbers, like six or eight or ten, you're not going to have a specific middle number. In fact, our median is going to fall somewhere right here between these two numbers. Now, if your median falls between those two numbers, here's how you do it. You're going to take both those numbers and you're going to average them arithmetically. That means you're going to add them together and you're going to divide by two because what you want is the number right in between them. So is your median going to be part of your data set here? No. No, you're going to actually get 5.5. .5. Do you see how I'm getting 5.5 .5 out of that? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yes. You add them together, you get 11, you divide by two, you're going to get 5.5. .5. The 5.5 .5 is not actually in here, but it does represent the middle of your data set. How many feel okay with that? Okay, good. So our median in this case, Here's how you find it in general, because it might not be easy numbers like 5 and 6. You could have uh, 3.38 and 4.2. You, you listen to me right now? So you, you can't just do it in your head. You've got to know the operation. You're adding the 5 and the 6. You're adding those two middle numbers, and you're dividing by 2, because averaging says you're adding these two numbers, and then you divide it by 2, you get what's right in the middle. So whatever these are, you, if, if for an even number of numbers, you look at your middle terms, you average them, here we're going to get 5.5. How many will feel pretty good about, about this so far? Good. All right. Hey, you know what? You might be wondering, why in the world do we even deal with the median? Why can't we just deal with the, the mean all the time? Why can't we just add things and divide them? Let me ask you a question up here, okay? Watch on the board. I'm going to go back to this data set. Do you all, you all agree that this was this median was five, right? Mm -hmm. And this one, you're okay that this is five point five, yeah. even though it's not in there. You just average those two middle numbers. Watch back on this data set. If I change the ten to a three thousand one hundred forty-eight, so one two three five seven nine three thousand one hundred forty-eight, does my median change? No. no. Oh, if I were to find the mean of this and the mean of this, would it be different? Yes. yes. Absolutely, because you're adding that one, right? So here's why people use the median. 
the mean, what we, what we learned last time, took every data value into account, didn't it? You added them all up and you divided by that number. The median actually doesn't. The median has them in order. However, once they're ordered, you're just taking the middle number. These numbers that, are, that could be way outside, otherwise known as an outlier, those outliers do not affect the median. This is why people use stuff like the median household income and the median home value to represent data rather than the mean. You see, are there some people in this world who make way more than everybody else? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It, typically, how it works is most people make around, as a household, $44,000 a year annual, like as a whole house. So most, most families make around that. That's the median, somewhere around that range. Some more, some less, right? However, are there people who make billions of dollars a year? Yeah. If you were to average those according to a mean, you'd get a, a number that's way bigger than what most people make. You get something in the hundreds of thousands. That's way more than I make. That's way more than most people in here make, right? Right? So if you want to represent most people, oftentimes when you're dealing with money or, or house values, you're going to use the median. Because those outliers, those people who make way more than everyone else, are throwing off the arithmetic average, but they're not going to throw off the median. Do you see the difference in that? So if this was the amount of money you made, like I make one dollar, you make two, someone makes three, five, seven, and nine, the median, the middle number is five, and then someone makes three thousand. That's way more than everybody else. However, it doesn't affect that one value. Do you guys see the difference between mean, which accounts for all the values, and median, which doesn't? Yes, no. All right, good deal. Now, the last thing we get to talk about, we get to talk about mode. Mode is not used as much as the mean. It's, it's not used as much as the median. But it is used on occasion. When we talk about the mode, really there's not any math we have to do at all with this with this uh, operation. With the mean, you had to add. With the median, well, you sometimes have to average. With the mode, there's really nothing you got to do. All you're looking for is the data value that occurs the most frequently. That's the mode. So the number that happens the most often. <clears throat> so we'll say the mode is the most commonly occurring value. It's just the number that happens the most. We'll do three examples. Hey, by the way, does the data have to be in order to find the mode, do you think? How about the mean? The mean. If you're adding them all up, does it matter? No, but the median, yes. So the median is the only one where the data has to be in, in order, and it certainly does have to be in order. Uh, the mode, we don't have to add or anything. What we're looking for is the most commonly occurring value. So can you look up there, tell me the number that happens the most often. 15. 15, yeah. 10 does repeat, right? So that's the secondly most occurring number, but we're not looking for that. We're looking for the one that occurs the most often. One time, two time, one time, three times, one time. So the three right here, that would say that our mode 